him. He gets to go to this school. Oh, he gets to start out with this. He's got all these good genetics. Oh, it's not fair. He's naturally born with the chiseled jawline. All the girls naturally want him. Get your shit together, buddy. Life ain't fair. It is what it is. Accept this shit for what it is. And do mess all my teenage boys out here watching me. You know what I'm saying, man? Guys, this is how you win as a teenager. All right, we're here to discuss some things that you can do to get ahead in your teenage years. You feel what I'm saying, man? Before we get into all of that, like the video, subscribe, right? And uh, share the video and all of that, man. You already know what it is. I got my notes right here. Ready to get into this, man. Let's get this shit cracking. Right, how do you win as a teen? Right, Wensley, how do you win as a teen? What, what do I have to do to get ahead? What do I have to do to be different from all these other, other niggas out here? What do I have to do to get ahead? Well, you've come to the right place, bro, because we about to discuss all of this shit right now. Right, first things you can do, right, is what you're already doing this first, the, the, the first thing is have as much leverage as possible. Right, you're doing that right now by watching this video. By watching my channel, right, subscribe. By watching my channel, you're already doing that. You're already giving yourself as much leverage as possible. Because teens these days, they're not looking at this shit. They're not looking at how to deal with women, how to get to your grind, how to stay focused. All these things that's gonna teach you how to win in life. Teens are not, average teens not looking at all this shit. Right, so you're already winning by doing this, right? And by having much as much leverage, I mean, you want to bring your sex appeal up as high as possible, right? Make as, try to make as much money as much as possible, right? And you're in school, try and stay in school. Try and focus as much as possible, right? And the best thing, right, while you're on your team, the best thing to do is find your purpose. And now you're probably wondering, when's, well, what is purpose? Well, what is that? Purpose is what you were put on this earth to do, right? Purpose is your mission, your goal. Right, are your grind, what you wake up for, what right? You have have something to wake up for every day. I don't want your boys to be waking up in a, on the PlayStation every day, right? Have something that you have to you want to accomplish during that day. Have a goal, have dreams, right? That's what what I, that's what I mean by have as much leverage as possible. Get started early, right? Get the grind going, right? I don't know whether you want right, to be a book writer, you want to be a rapper, right? You want to be an NBA player. What is it that you want to do? Right? And dedicate at least two hours a day doing that. At the least two hours a day. Because as a teenager, you have as much time as humanly possible to do things. Right? You live at your mama's house. You ain't paying no bills. Right? I know most of y'all ain't obligated to have a job or a full-time job or whatever. So you have time to start working on your dreams and your purpose. So get this shit started right now while you have all the time. Stop, stop, stop it with all the drama at school. Stop it with all the... Chasing all these girls that don't even like you. Just want attention from all of y'all simps. That's all she wants. Right? Focus on the grind. Start the grind. Get shit popping. Get, start your YouTube channel. Start releasing songs. Right? Start trying out for the uh, D1 team. Start working towards making that D1 football team next year. Start lifting the weights. Start training. Right? Give yourself as much leverage as possible. Right? Get ahead in everything you want to be good at. Because you have all the time right now. Right? And second thing is, guys, you need to understand. Right? This was very hard for me growing up. This was very hard for me to understand. Life is not fair. Right? I know some of y'all some of y'all like to complain and right? be like, Wens, it's not fair. He gets to go to this gym. He gets to go to this school. Oh, he gets to start out with this. He's got all these good genetics. Oh, it's not fair. He's naturally born with the chiseled jawline. All the girls naturally want him. Get your shit together, buddy. Life ain't fair. It is what it is. Accept this shit for what it is and do what you can do with what you have. Right? You may not have, have, have as much money as this nigga right here, right? Who can afford the two three thousand dollar camera, but what you do have is an iPhone, the iPhone that you the iPhone that you right now are watching this video on, Billy. You got that. So use it. I started out making these videos on my phone. If you scroll all the way down, then you see the shitty quality of my videos, right? I was making them on my phone. It, it, it was what it was. Right? I make no excuses and until I could get my money buy a camera. It was what it was. I accepted it for what it is. Right? Accept things for what they are, bruh. Life 
life is what is what you get, bro. You you're in a position. You are where you need to be, right? Like I said, you're watching this channel, right? You you you're figuring out ways to level up. So you're already taking a step. You're already a step ahead of everybody else, right, guys? It's not fair. It ain't fair. It's not supposed to be fair, right? You might be born poor. You might be born middle class. This one might be born rich, right? It is what it is. Right? You have your own path of life to follow. And he's got his own path of life to follow. The rich kid, right, is still going to have it difficult. He's still going to have some shit difficult. Right? He might not have financial problems. Right? But he might have women problem. While the poor kid over here, the poor greasy kid over here, he, he's got financial problems. But he ain't got no problem getting dealing with girls. Right? He's got good ge genetics while the... The rich kid over here just gets is gets getting fat all day, right? Thinking he's gotta figure it out because he's got daddy's money to spend, right? So it's not fair either ways. It'll never be fair. You have to accept it for what it is and take action and take a, and be accountable and do what you need to do, right, guys? And the other thing too, guys, as a teenager, God, God forbid, honestly. Guys, I can't stress this enough. This is the most important one. This fucked me up. This fucked me up because this is the thing, right? There's nothing you can do about it, right? It, it's hard. It's very, very hard. Watching this video, I know it's not going to stop you from this happening to you, but at least you'll know, right? You can never get attached to a woman. Oh, Lord, here we go. Oh, Lord, here we go. I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, oh, bet that's easy. The fuck I gotta worry about the woman for? I gotta, I gotta get my grind. I gotta say, yeah, my G, it's easier said than done. It is way easier said than done because that was me a couple years ago saying this shit. Oh, yeah, fuck these hoes, man. I gotta say, until this, 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 this chick switched on me, right? And started dating this boy instead of me. And I was feeling this shit, man. I was like, nah. It was so hard to control my emotions. That right there, that period of time was when I was from a boy to a man, right? So what I'm saying is, guys, it's going to happen. And you're going to have to accept it for what it is and allow it, right? Because that period of time is where I came from a boy to a man. I had to deal with so much pain for a long period of time. And it made me stronger mentally. And it made me stronger physically too because I used that fuel, right? See, I was smart, right? See, because, because it's going to happen right because we know it's gonna happen and and how we prepare for it because i'm not because i don't want y'all to be thinking that oh, okay i don't want to get my heart broken so i'm gonna avoid dating girls altogether i'm just not gonna deal with women no guys deal with women don't be like that right it is what it is right love your girl but just don't be in love don't be in love in love is where you get fucked up Right? You can love her, hang out with your girl, cuddle her, do all these sweet things. But you can never allow yourself to get attached. Because once, the second you get attached, that's the second she falls back. Right? The second you get attached to her, that's the second she falls back. Right? And what I mean by getting attached, right? Let me make this clear for some of y'all who are knuckleheads. Right? Getting attached is making the woman your priority. Right? This is why I'm saying have a purpose in your life. Have something you're waking up for to do. Because then the woman is not your priority. Right? She lets you go when you stop worrying about what you gotta do and all and start focusing on solely on her. That's when she lets you that's when she's gonna fall off. Right? She doesn't wanna be the only thing in your life. She doesn't wanna be the only purpose in your life. Yeah, they might say this. Yeah, they might say they want a guy who caters to them. They want this. Yeah, what women do and what women say are two different things. Right? If you don't already know this, well, now you know. What women do versus what women say are two different things, guys. So don't let this shit trick you. Don't let this shit fool you. Right? Don't, don't go out here and treat this girl like princess, queen, fall in love. Right? Doing all this extra shit, all this simping shit. And wonder why she left you to fuck Chad the asshole, Chad and Tyrone over there or whatever. Right? Right, guys. This, this is how you went as a, as a teen, guys. Have as, give yourself as much leverage as humanly possible. Right? Give yourself the best chances. Put yourself, give, make yourself the best option in every way possible. And understand that, that life is not fair. One's gonna have it easier than you, and, and there's also one that's gonna have it harder than you. Accept it for what it is. Do what you can do with what you have. Right? Keep that shit pushing with what you do have. Allow it. Right? 
And don't get attached to women. Don't fall in love with women. Right? Because these girls at that age, I mean, these teenage girls, all they want is attention. All they care about is attention. Right? So focus on you. Right? Holler at the girls here and there. Love them. Right? Don't confuse what I'm saying. Holler at these girls. Love them. Right? But don't be in love. Right, fellas? This has been your boy, man. That's all I got to say today, man. I'm done going in. Right? Like the video, man. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.